10 Real-Life Cyborgs at This Moment A cyborg is a cross between a human and a machine. By this definition though, even wearing contact lenses technically makes someone a cyborg. In today's tech-driven society, however, no one cares about that kind of human-machine hybrid. Science fiction has provided the world with too many cool cyborgs. Robocop, Darth Vader, Inspector Gadget, and some really scary ones such as Star Trek's Borg. A convincing cyborg has to be more than a Google Glass schmuck who can look up Starbucks locations while he meanders to work on his hoverboard. Some impressive real-life cyborgs walk among us right now. Keep watching! Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at the top 10 real-life cyborgs at this moment. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. Number 10. World's First Bionic Man Jesse Sullivan may be the world's first bionic man. In 2001, Sullivan was working as a lineman when he accidentally jolted with more than 7,000 volts of electricity. The resulting burns were so severe that doctors had to amputate both of his arms. The Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, or RIC, which for years has been working on advancements in prosthetic engineering, has outfitted Sullivan with myoelectric arms. In Sullivan's case, nerve endings in his arms were surgically moved into his chest. The nerves grew into the muscle, so now when Sullivan thinks about moving his arms, the nerves cause the muscles in his chest to move. Electrodes in the prosthetic react to the muscle movement. In this way, Sullivan moves his arms in a way that simulates the body's natural means of moving limbs. As research continues, the arm's abilities improve. Sullivan can now sense different temperatures, never mind pick up objects, with his remarkable limbs. Number 9. Turning himself into a walking cyborg In an extreme case of walking the walk, not just talking the talk, cybernetic professor Kevin Warwick has turned himself into a cyborg. In 1998, a medical doctor inserted a microchip transponder into Warwick's arm. Warwick was only under a local anesthetic, by the way. The chip monitored Warwick's movements throughout the cybernetics department on University of Reading campus, so that simply by walking around, he could operate lights, doors, and computers. In 2002, a more elaborate computerized system was implanted in his arm and connected to nerve endings. Now, Warwick goes about organizing Turing test events, operating appliances with his body, conducting research on Parkinson's disease, and sending self-described body hackers into swoons. Number 8. The Eyeborg Neil Harbison was born with extreme colorblindness. Most colorblind people can see color, but they can't distinguish some colors, such as red and green, very well from other colors. Harbison, however, can only see in black and white. While he was in art school, he met tech guru Adam Montandon, who came up with an ingenious way of overcoming this disability. Harbison has had implanted into his head a sensor that sees colors for him and then converts those colors into sound. This permanently implanted device allows Harbison to hear 360 different colors, technically hues since his camera ignores saturation. The original iBorg, as Montandon and Harbison call it, involved a system of cables leading out of his head and attached to a laptop inside a backpack. The newest iteration is a simple microprocessor under the skin at the back of his head. Harbison can detect EM waves we lesser beings cannot, such as ultraviolet and infrared. The light life isn't all cherries and peaches, however. Because of his head-mounted camera, Harbison often gets kicked out of buildings as a possible security threat. Number 7. The Bionic Filmmaker Rob Spence lost his eye in a shooting accident when he was nine. For much of his life, he has been able to cope with a traditional false eye. Naturally, this filmmaker dreamed of having a prosthetic eye that was also a camera. To achieve this admittedly cool goal, he gathered a team of tech mavens around an ocularist or prosthetic eye maker. Unlike Neil Harbison's eyeborg, the camera is not connected to a chip in the wearer's brain. This eyeborg does, however, permit other people to see through Spence's point of view. The camera contains a wireless transmitter that sends images to a handheld monitor. The eye camera has some drawbacks. It gets hot, so Spence can keep it in his head only for a couple of minutes at a time. Number 6. Moon Rebus The Things People Do For Their Art in the past, Spanish dancer, choreographer, and performance artist Moon Rebus has attached things temporarily to herself, such as a glove that measures the speed of objects around her. 
In 2013, she had an earthquake sensor permanently inserted under the skin of her arm for a project called Seismic Sense. Whenever an earthquake of at least one on the Richter scale occurs in the world, the sensor vibrates and an app registers the scale and location. In a more recent project, the artist and her audience waits around until an earthquake takes place somewhere. Rebus dances in the direction of the earthquake and attempts to communicate the intensity through her movement. At the same time, her co-performer, fellow cyborg Neil Harbison, translates the seismic readings into a light and music show. Number 5. Ankle Moves to His Thoughts Iceland has brought the world Bjork, volcanic mud spas, and post-apocalyptic landscapes to stare at during long airport layovers for polar route flights. Now the island nation offers something else, prosthetic joints just like Mother Nature made. One problem with cyborg parts is that the human body does such an excellent job of transmitting brain signals to its constituent parts that technology just can't compete. The joints on typical human legs can adjust for speed, terrain, and orientation so quickly that people don't even pay attention. A jointed prosthetic leg tends to be disappointing by comparison. Amputee Gudmundur Olafsson has recently had a technology upgrade that brought tears to his eyes. Iceland's Osser has recently outfitted him with a new version of its proprio foot prosthetic. This upgrade allows him to control his ankle just by thinking. Try walking without having a moving ankle. It's hard. Number 4. Outfitted with own robotic arm After Claudia Mitchell lost her left arm in a 2004 motorcycle accident, she learned about research towards the development of a prosthetic that would respond to brain signals. In 2006, the Marine Corps veteran was outfitted with her own arm, making her the first woman to have such a device. The prosthetic, designed by the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago, is connected to nerve endings on her body, so that she can move it in a similar way as her other arm. The bionic arm also permits her to have a sense of touch. The prosthetic research is partly funded by Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, famed for rumors of its super-soldier research. Though Mitchell is not a super soldier, she works for an Arkansas symphony orchestra, she continues to work with the research team on the development of this bionic technology. Number 3. Argus 2 Anthony Andrea Tola found out he had retinitis pigmentosa when he was in his 20s. Ten years later, he was completely blind. In October 2015, the 55-year-old American regained the ability to see thanks to John Hopkins Hospital and Second Sight's Argus 2. The Argus 2 is a compilation of devices including an electrode-laden chip at the back of the eye, a transmitter at the front of the eye, and a pair of glasses with a camera. The camera sends signals to the transmitter which then allows the electrodes to stimulate the retina to make images. He doesn't have 20-20 vision by any means, but he can identify the color of the sweater his daughter is wearing something he has never been able to do. Number 2. A Self-Proclaimed Cyborg Angel Giuffria considers herself to be a cyborg. She was born without a right hand, and from day one, she has been a child star of advanced prosthetic devices. She was outfitted with her first bionic arm before she was one year old. Her current prosthetic is designed by Steeper, a British company that specializes in advanced prosthetic devices. With the B-Bionic 3, Geofria has excellent hand control. She can pick up objects and even crack an egg. She has appeared in many films that require actors with missing limbs. For example, she appeared in the film Hunger Games Mockingjay Number 1, The Intriguing Myoelectric Arm. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. In 2012, James Young was pulled under a London train and his left foot was severed. Subsequently, his left arm had to be amputated. He wears prosthetics for both of his missing body parts, but his left arm is the masterpiece. Like many cybernetic amputees, he has a myoelectric arm, so he can use his muscles to manipulate his fingers as well as his arm. On top of that, Sophie de Oliveira Barata of the Alternative Limb Project designed the arm to look like Solid Snake's arm in Metal Gear Solid. She added a few bonus features too. The arm is Bluetoothed and has a built-in smartwatch and USB port for phone recharging. And, just because, Young can make his arm light up in different colors. Best of all, the bionic arm has a built-in drone that Young can launch out of his shoulder. With that, we end this video. Consider subscribing to join in on all the future fun.